Hey yo! Welcome to another tutorial. So in this video I will show you 5 effects to add to your edit to get a better result. But before I do that, I have a little announcement. From now on I will post only tutorials in this channel. So no more edits uploaded. But, you can still see my new edits in Instagram. So please go follow me there. Link in the description. Now let's jump to the tutorial. So get your edit ready and follow me. So the first effect is RFMB. Basically, this effect add a more motion blur between the transitions so it makes them smoother. And now create an adjustment layer. Then add RFMB effect to it. Now you can copy my setting or you can play with them until you happy with it. But don't increase the amount too much or it will ruin your edit. As you can see what the effect does. My edit already have RFMB so in my case there is not much difference. The second effect is magic bullet looks. What this effect does is increase the quality of your edits which is an important thing to do. So create a new adjustment layer. And add looks effect to it. Click on edit. So here you have many tools so you can get creative with it and create your custom CC. And if you want a quick way go to the looks bar you will find many CC. All you have to do is chose the one you like and click on it and it will be applied. As you can see this is the difference. You can also add lumetri color if you want to get more advanced. The next effect is black bars. I am sure that almost everyone knows this effect but I will explain it really quick. So first create a black solid. Then add CC draws effect to it. And copy what I am doing. Now you can keyframe the completion as you like. Also, you can keyframe the direction and it will give you this cool movement. The next effect is optical flares. You can do many things with this effect but we will use it between the transition so it makes it smoother. So create a new solid and add the optical flares effect to it. Then click on option. Now follow me. Drag the point to the top. Now go before the transition and start keyframing the brightness like I do. Easy ease the keyframes and there you have it. You can change the graph too if you want.
Now the last effect is both light. Create a new solid and add a spoke lights effect to it. You have to download Sapphire plugin to get this effect. As you can see what the effect does. It adds circles at the top of the edit. As always play with settings if you want to get different results. When you are done change the blending mode of the solid to add. And there we go. So this is the last effect. I hope you learned something from this video. So I hope you like the tutorial. See you on the next video.